you're thinking. I know, I know. Why does this lady care so much about books? Especially a woman like her. This is what I've heard all of my life, back to when I was a little girl. Mi abuelo, my grandfather, he was the one who first told me about books. A man with many books is rich, he would say, even if he doesn't have a single donkey or a single cart. He lived by the mountains of San Miguel de Napantla, right back there. It was a two and a half day trip by donkey cart. When my mother, and my sisters and I, <laughs> we all came here to live. <laughs> Why do a book for me? <laughs> but what do you do with a book? <laughs> Me. <laughs> read. <laughs> read. <laughs> read. <laughs> read. <laughs> Answers. <laughs> <laughs>
tend to a scholar's home and write for the Vista Reina. It's not the picture that I pictured for myself. If I, a woman, can pass the test of 40 scholars and cannot speak for the education of women, who will? Why should women live in the dark, unable to read a simple scroll? I can do <laughs> I will live this life. I will write my poems, my books, my plays. It will be a difficult life, but that won't stop me from embarking on it. If something's difficult, does it stop you? It shouldn't. One final rule. It is no wisdom to use one's mind for subtle but hollow display. True wisdom simply consists in choosing the sounder way. <laughs> <laughs>